On this week's episode of Science and Star Wars, I have built a tank that will probably be my demise. <laughs> Back to tanks and carbonite. Hello and welcome to Science and Star Wars, where we explore how close real world science has come to our favorite Star Wars technology. I'm Anthony Carboni, and as always, to my right. Hello, my name is Watson. He's my best friend in the whole wide world is all. Today, we will find out how close we can get to healing in a back to tank and getting frozen in carbonite. Hopefully without an extended stay in Jabba's palace. You get hurt in Star Wars, you get a vacation in the back to tank while science heals your body. And guess what? That's starting to really happen on a decidedly much smaller scale. He looks strong enough to pull ears off a gun dart. Science is working towards enhancing and advancing our ability to heal. Doctors can now use artificial skin to protect and regrow damaged areas. Or let's say you get involved in a wampa attack. <laughs> Scientists are now working on ways to use certain types of skin bacteria to speed recovery. It's even possible one day we could have a Bacta tank filled with bacteria. A sort of Bacteria tank. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Scientists at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles have also discovered a way to use tiny bubbles filled with genetic material to speed up bone healing. And if you think being frozen in carbonite is bad, well, it is. I can't see. New techniques are using extremely cold temperatures to help accelerate healing. And these aren't the only exciting developments happening in the world of medicine. Some new discoveries feel like they're still science fiction. IBM scientists are developing what they're calling lab on a chip technology that could make it faster and easier for doctors to diagnose diseases. This technology allows us to isolate biomarkers relevant to a number of diseases. What this enables us to do is get out ahead of a disease. If you have a technology that's convenient enough, you can test daily, you can test weekly so that you can get results immediately instead of having to wait. So right now you're probably thinking, Anthony, these are medical marvels that will change our lives forever. But I was promised I would get to see you trapped in carbonite. Fine, jackals. Fine. Give the people what they want. Hi, Andy Gutierrez. Hi, Anthony Carboni. You are my co-host on the Star Wars show. That I am. Watson, you know Andy, right? Yes, you and Andy began work together in April 2015. We've worked together since July 2017. Ooh, that's awkward. Yeah, if I didn't know any better, I would say Watson was a little jealous. On with the science. Yes, so. As somebody who hangs out with me quite a bit, mm -hmm. you have probably always dreamed of seeing me trapped in carbonite. Frequently. Yeah, I thought so. Well, carbonite is not real. So we can't do exactly that, but let's get as close as we can. Okay. This is sodium polyacrylate, it's a polymer. Okay, so just chains of the same molecule essentially, right? Exactly, it's repeating acrylate compounds together. So why don't you add some water and see what happens? Whoa! So sodium polyacrylate is a super absorber. It okay. will absorb 200 to 300 times its own mass in water. So is this like the stuff that's inside diapers and like, Freezer packs and yeah, stuff. there are a thousand uses for this stuff, cool. including carbonite today. Give it a stir and see what happens. Oh, it's thick. This is difficult to stir. In this case, I will be the stirrer. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and as I move around, it will absorb more water around yeah. me. It will turn into basically a hydrogel. I am barely going to be able to move if I will be able to move at all. Great. Hello. Welcome to the smartest thing I've ever done. <laughs> This is gonna be amazing. I cannot believe I have given you control over this. I'm so thankful. As I'm mixing it, it's definitely starting to expand and resist a bit more. It's neat because when I pour it in, I can actually see it expanding really quickly. Yeah. Heads up. This stuff absorbs a ton of water. Yeah. Oh, so I'm hearing some cracks. Yeah, but we should be good. Yeah. I do wish that my legs had frozen in a slightly straighter position at this point. My knees are locked in like a slight bend. This stuff has expanded so much now and there's so little air down there. The cracking is getting disconcerting. Yeah. I'll say that. That's 25 pounds of powder. And the tank is holding. I mean, we have immobilized my thighs. That's cool. Yeah. Don't lean back. Okay. Because <laughs> it's just gonna crack. Whoa! Whoa this wall's oh, coming broken. down. It's broken, <laughs> No cage can hold me! <laughs> Andy Gutierrez, were mistakes made in terms of water pressure calculations? Obviously. Sure. <laughs> Did it work out anyway in a strange way? Better than expected. I would say so. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, this was fun. And remember, we also have more science videos at ibm.com slash Star Wars. <laughs>